It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just across the Hudson from downtown Manhattan, we welcome you inside MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey. A good one here in the AFC East. So glad you're with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, for years, this division was dominated by the Patriots, winning 16 of the possible 17 years. For the last four, it's belonged to Buffalo under Sean McDermott. Now, though, this seems like it's anyone's division. No question. I mean, you mentioned the Patriots. Obviously, they have one of the greatest traditions of winning in the history of the NFL. New coach, new era. We'll see how that unfolds. You mentioned Buffalo. But I think if right now, if I'm a New York Jets fan with Aaron Rodgers back under center healthy and what Mike McDaniel is building down in Miami, you said it. This is really a division that over the years was a one-horse race. And now, I think all four of these teams entering the season think this division goes through them. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down past 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers. Of course, all the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. But the man is a legend. Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler. Greg, his 20th NFL season. There's not many guys, Mike, in NFL history that while their career is still ongoing, they already are considered a no-brainer finding themselves in Canton one day. And this guy is certainly at the top of the list. But let's not forget, this is not some washed-up quarterback who can't let go of the past. He is still capable of playing at an all-pro level. And if he continues to do so, any team he's on is going to be a Super Bowl contender. Second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's to the rookie from Western Kentucky, Malachi Corley. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Jets first down. Nice play here by Malachi Corley, the young rookie wide receiver. And something we're going to continue to see out of him as the rest of the year unfolds is Mike he has such a knack for turning short throws into long gains and his ability to be a ball carrier after the catch it's really what separates certain guys from others in this league and for a young player to have that innate kind of sense to be a ball carrier find any ways you can get him the ball screen smokes bubbles doesn't matter get the ball in his hands and usually good things happen Come to the line now on second and two. A run here with Paul. Paul, a first down and more. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. A big-time run there by Hall. And even 30 yards. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. And next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pickup. On first down, they go right back to Hall. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Again with Hall. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. He'll try to run for it with Hall. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. 
Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And he's going to have that first down. They didn't want to settle for three. And now it's first and goal. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up... And he'll take it on in. Malachi Corley. Touchdown, Jets. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Greg Zerline now for the point after. He's got it. And the Jets will take a 7-0 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away to return it's Antonio Gibson a good return as he takes it across the 30 the New England offense getting ready to go to work here they're gonna be led their veteran signal caller out of NC State it's Jacoby Brissett whenever he comes in the game you know exactly what you're gonna get he may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle. He brings a lot of stability to this role, and he is capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. We're set. Going to open with a pass. This one complete. A.J. Osborne with the grab. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. A little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Really showing off the elusiveness after the catch. That's a gain of 26. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Uh, first carry for Ramondre Stevenson. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. In what's clearly become a passing league, Mike, if you're not actively rushing the passer, you have to be able to hold up in coverage. And that's especially true at the linebacker position. Great job here getting in those passing lanes and being able to break up that ball. 
On third down, they'll throw with Brissett. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there, the sack that might take them out of field goal range. Every time a quarterback is sacked, everyone kind of looks around at the offensive line and like, oh, come on, guys, pick it up. I don't think this was on the O-line at all. I think the quarterback is holding on to the ball too long. You know what they say, Mike? Sacks, those are quarterback stats. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barringer to punt. Xavier Gibson to return for the Jets. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Jets offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. From the gun, Rodgers. Got a man downfield, it's Wilson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. We talk so much about starting fast and then trying to sustain that throughout the course of the game. That's exactly what they're doing here. They've got the early lead, but they're not content to just sit on the ball. They're looking to extend it. Nice start here to this drive. Once they cross midfield, then it goes into go mode. You're trying to come away with points. And oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Two plays, two nice pickups to start the drive. This one, a gain of 18. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, Pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Rodgers, RPO, quickly out to Wilson. Now they are in business, inside the 15-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. This complete to Corley. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Rodgers going up top again. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. Third down coming up. Goes without saying, like, you have to be smart with the ball, especially down here in the red zone. You're already in scoring position. And I understand they're trying to come away with a touchdown, but at the very least, come away with three. Worst case scenario is you turn the ball over. And he's in. Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, New York. Now Zerline for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Jets move out on top, 14 to nothing.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Pates offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll start on the ground with Stevenson. Changing direction there as he's able to pick up three. So after one, 14 to nothing is our score. We're back to upstate New York in just a moment. Second and seven. Operating from the gun is Brissett. There's Osborne with the grab. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. He'll try the zone read on first and ten, and he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. Throwing right, get in. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. to pick this up third and a yard they'll try to run for this it's Stevenson and he will have a Patriots first down they get five on third and one really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak Mike you don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard that's exactly what they did pick up the first down nowhere to go he is taken down defense came out in a soft zone I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard he was trying to attack them downfield by the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down he ran out of time and that's all the pass rush needed to the backfield and bring him down work to do now as they come up on second and long Now it's Brissett. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt. Falls incomplete. Now to make matters worse, you've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback open man is Douglas it's complete and they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line if you want to score points at a high level in the NFL you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives Ball down to the 16-yard line, and it's first and 10. 
Now for set. All in by the tight end, Henry. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. A good spot here, second and a yard. They'll run, Stevenson, and that'll give them a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line. little closer here's second and goal they'll try to run this one in a second effort and he is in Antonio Gibson touchdown Patriots but you think back to their first possession of this game like it resulted in a punt not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds they get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Joey Sly on now for the point after. It's up and through. And the Pats are on the board. It's now 14 to 7. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line Garrett Wilson and the Jets offense now heading back onto the field they lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten Rodgers now. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. Here's Rodgers. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jawan Bentley. I know it doesn't seem like a ton of yards on top of that pick, but that was really well done. I mean, it's just going to make life so much easier now as the offense takes the field, trying to capitalize off of that turnover. The Patriots offense back onto the field for their next possession. They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. <laughs> Two. 
to throw is Brissett. Pass completed to Douglas. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Reset going to throw. That one taken in by Douglas. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On the ground, Gibson. They will have it at the 24-yard line. That's enough for a first down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Now Gibson, he'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. Here's a second and nine. Throw it, Brissett. And he tried to fit in the slant, and it was intercepted. Picked off by Michael Carter. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again. They'll start it here with a first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Whoa! And he's out of bounds, up beyond the 40-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball. Everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties. Make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. He'll try again here, second and 10. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Third down, three to go. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five but it will keep the drive going. A 
Again, it's Rodgers. That's to the running back, Brees Hall. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Here's first and ten. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. Last play got 15. This one gains 15. And another first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. Reese Hall, the intended receiver. And that will lead to a second down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Now a second down throw from Rodgers. Over the middle, that's Corley. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run. It's Hall. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. On comes Greg Zerlon to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Zerlon's kick is good. And the Jets build their cushion to 10. It's now 17 to 7. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you want to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. Couldn't take the chance. They're going to return it from the goal line. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So, we have a 10-point game here at halftime as we get you down to Florida. Orlando, specifically. It's where the coach is. Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our halftime report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Aaron Rodgers. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first-quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Jones now on the return. Now on the return, he has lost the football. Special teams comes through again. We don't talk about it nearly enough, but sometimes the biggest plays of the game happen like that one. The kickoff return, fumble, recovered, and momentum swings again. Everybody loves to see a big return, Mike, but the priority of any kick return unit, just give your offense a chance to possess the ball. And in this case, they don't do that. 
They turn the ball over, and now they find themselves back out there on defense. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that. That is caught. What a throw. Tyler Conklin. Touchdown, New York. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. Extra point try now for Zerla. His kick is good. And the Jets up their lead. It's now 24 to 7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Patriots offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. This is Stevenson. Strong running there. Pushing his way forward to gain a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. The open man is Osborne. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Here is Brissett. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. So now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The drive begins with a run, and it's Hall. 
And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's right side and brought in by Williams. It's a gain of 12 there, and the Jets have a first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Here's second and two. Off the play fake, Rodgers. Got a man downfield, it's Wilson. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And the Jets are going to be looking at a first and goal. They move it down to the four. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even if... And before the try, remember, it is a touchdown. All scoring plays are reviewed. So replay will Previous confirm this review. one before we do anything else. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. After review of the play, ruling on the field stays... So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Jets will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Patriots offense headed back to take over once more. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10.
Here's Gibson. <laughs> Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Operating from the gun is Brissett. This one complete right side. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. A carry now for Gibson. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. On the handoff, Stevenson running left. A gain of 17 yards. First down, New England. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. There's Osborne with the grab. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. Can they keep this drive rolling? Here is third and inches. Reset. He'll find his tight end. That's Henry. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Here's a run. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball across, setting up second and goal. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. He's got his big tight end. Hunter Henry. Touchdown, New England. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. The offense staying put. They will go for two. Now Brissett, and he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. I know it sounds like I'm being biased, Mike, but I'm really not. 
down here this close to the end zone, especially on two-point tries, the size, the length, the athleticism, and matchups these tight ends can create, man, they are a tough handle, and it leads to two points. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. They'll come up here first and 10. Play action now with Rodgers. Throwing left side, and it's taken in by Williams. That's a gain of 19, and a very quick first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A first down throw from Rodgers. Right back to Williams. They connect again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they could. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. He'll get that into the hands of Williams. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Nice catch there by Williams, and he's able to move the chains. And while he finds himself now in a new uniform here in New York, it's just nice to see him able to return from injury just a year ago. He was signed by the Jets this offseason after coming off a really good run with the Chargers. He's already making his presence felt. He picks up a fresh set of downs. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Two possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. He's got it at the three. To the goal line and in. Malachi Corley. Touchdown, New York. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Now Zerline for the extra point. He's got it. And the Jets will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. The throw is Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Brissett going to throw. They'll try to set up the screen to Stevenson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone, defend every blade of grass in a really good running back, goes a long way in doing it. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Throwing again, Reset. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. And that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. So the ball's still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. Brissett going to throw again. This one caught at the four. And he turns out some of the hard yards in this area of the field, working it to the three-yard line.
They're in four down territory for sure, but what can they do on this one? It's third and goal. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Jacoby Brissett. Touchdown, Patriots. That his second touchdown tonight. Well, Greg, really down to the point where every possession they need to score and they get a touchdown here to stay alive. Mike, I like what I'm seeing out of this team. They find themselves down big late, but there's no quit. They're continuing to fight back, and they got a chance to make this one a two-possession game here late. The offense will stay out there as they will line up and go for two. Now it's Brissett. To the end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Adams. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. I'm always curious how a defense is going to respond. So you give up a touchdown. You give up six. And now the offense is trying to extend it to eight. How are you going to buckle down? How are you going to hang in there? In this case, let's give them a little credit. Keep those two off the board, and they can come to the sideline and regroup. So the late score gets them a bit closer to respectability. They'll try to get even closer with an outside kick. He's to midfield. You have no choice. You find yourself down big here late in the fourth quarter, Mike. You got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Nice job here by the hands team recovering. They're going to take over possession. So now the Jets offense ready to take over once more. Hey, Greg, this has been something to watch. Let's go through some of these highlights. Touchdown after touchdown after touchdown and this is one of those games where dreams are reality mike and you just can't ever predict when you're going to have a game like today where just every play call every ball that you throw every option that you have downfield is wide open and productive it's it's pretty incredible the ability for them to continue to have their way with this defense because barring some sort of change from this secondary where they come up with some answers i don't even think they're done scoring just yet First and ten. They'll give up the middle with Hall. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Another run here with Paul. Yeah. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Reese Paul. Touchdown, New York. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Extra point try now for Zerla. It's up and good. And the Jets are able to extend the lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. 
The visitors' offense ready to take over possession of the football. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. That one taken in by Douglas. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Throw it. We're set. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come to the line now on second and two. Here is Brissett. We'll set up the screen for Gibson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Keeping it in the air. Here's Brissett. He throws right side down the field, and it is brought in. Call it a gain of 13. Good for a Patriots first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. The Pats going to stop it here. They'll use their third and final timeout. Clock is stopped. 47 seconds left here in the fourth. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. To the air again is Brissett. He's got Douglas going deep. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser on a line accurately downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense just turned out to be a better throw. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much spun the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. They do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. That's going to be incomplete. That would have been a tough grab. The collision jarred it loose. The try for two is unsuccessful.
So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Xavier Gibson now to take it out of the end zone. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say goodbye from MetLife Stadium.